case Uh-oh. you call it closed stumbling is system. it open or closed kosho is earth open or closed why can't you answer a simple question i don't know i don't know why you guys aren't grasping this it's not it's not as simple as is it open or well, closed the audience it's, isn't stupid uh, contextual. they're seeing you dance around on the instead context. of saying open or closed those are your two options open or closed and you're saying well it depends that's not an answer no but try that's because you're, you're, you're giving it a binary you're giving a, a, a binary it's a false dichotomy it's the dichotomy dude is it open or closed Depends on the context. Oh my god! I mean, that's just the way it open. That's the way these systems work. That's the point of them. And if, if it didn't depend on the context, then everything would always be an open system. There would never be closed or isolated systems. I told you, Kosho is the best at this. See that? How he can do that? No, is it? Dude, that's just the truth. If you if you let any system, if you left any system alone long enough, some matter and energy would be exchanged somehow, and so you would have to call it an open system. However, for most uh, analysis, those sort of exchanges are negligible because it's a, it's a short amount of time span, or it's a small amount that's exchanged. And in those cases, you can consider, uh, you know, the the system to be either isolated or closed, depending on what's being exchanged. First of all, there's no such thing as isolated. Second of all, you know that a closed system does not allow matter to be exchanged. So you know that we get supposedly meteors entering. So just that one sentence that I just said right now kills your whole story right there. That's all I need to say. And just watch you double speak after that. I've just already addressed that, dude. Like same thing with a Coke can, or same thing with a, a tank of helium. If you let that tank of helium alone long enough, sure, uh, it, it allows energy to exchange and the matter is supposed to stay inside the tank. However, uh, small amounts of that helium will escape from that tank. And if you're if you're counting everything, that's um, you know every every little atom of helium, you would have to consider that to be an open system. However, that yeah, amount but that's of a lame, would be negligible. That's a lame excuse, bro. Because you know the coke can <laughs> will keep its content <laughs> inside. Right, unless a seal is broken, you know that, right? You just you trying just, to. You just said about a meteor, right, coming into the Earth, right, and therefore the Earth is an open system. But to me personally, I cannot leave here. I cannot get off the surface. the The best I can do is maybe go on a plane or a helicopter. Yeah, I still cannot leave the Earth. Therefore, to me, the Earth is a closed system. How about your astronauts? How about them when they leave? Again, that, that, that's a different situation again, isn't it? How? Explain it. Because the day before they travel there, they cannot go. Yeah? Because they need the rocket. Yeah? Until they've got the rocket, the Earth is a closed system to them. But once they have the rocket... It's now an open system. You're kidding me. Right? Is the rocket hope. matter? Is the rocket matter, Highlander? Yeah, dude, Essie, you're not going to get anywhere. But I do hope that a stray planet comes and smashes away half of Earth and, uh, and then ask them if it's a fucking closed or open system. No, but let him answer that. Highlander, is the rocket ship that you said can leave this place, is it matter? Everything's made of matter. So we, we know that you guys said it's a closed system, and we know the definition of a closed system means matter cannot exchange. So how do you square that circle? But again, a rocket on its own, the Earth is still a closed system because you need to put humans inside to fucking fly the thing. Yeah? So without anybody controlling the rocket... It's still a closed system. Again, you've been told it depends on the situation and the circumstances. Well, let's so ask, you're saying okay, let's let's ask ask a rocket? Oh, well, you know, uh, well, yeah, it's only this way or that way, and I'm not accepting any other fucking answers. That's it. I'm accepting. Yeah. Just calm down. I want to ask you a question. Are you saying, therefore, that the Earth is a closed system but when humans enter a rocket, 
somehow they create an opening. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no. Well, that's what it sounds like. Because, again, a human walking into a rocket does not make the Earth an open system. So what does? Are, How does that rocket get out of there? You do know that rockets need fuel, yeah? So, again, putting humans in a rocket doesn't make the Earth an open system. It's still a closed system until you have fuel, until you have all the electronics, until everything's up and running. Do you so see, do you see this open? is going? Do you see how the, there are multiple factors involved? But why your question just cannot be, is the Earth opened or closed? Yeah, It's never as simple as that. I don't, know, I don't think he even knows. Okay. What, I don't <laughs> think this guy even knows what an open or closed system is. Can you define yeah, it for us? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Literally, the, I've been in this six years. That's the dumbest statement I've ever heard. And I've heard a lot of dumb shit. Can, can you define a closed system for us, Highlander? A closed system is where matter won't exchange with the system outside it. Oh, okay, cool. So are we exchanging, is Earth exchanging matter? Hello, hello. Is, Earth, is Earth exchanging matter, Highlander? Hi, Highlander? He might have went to put a cup of... There's like smoke coming out of his ears right now. He doesn't know what to do. Error, error, it, error. it depends on if the rocket has fuel and see if he had a rocket. Yeah. yeah. If, if the yeah. rocket is fueled, yeah, it, it's open. Can I finish just off with he's, Highlander? He's two he's minutes. The rocket one, one more question. Highlander, please make it clear. At what point does the rocket, the fuel of the man, open the Earth system? I'm curious. Did I come through there or am I? Loud and clear. How about me? I'm not coming through. You're coming out clear. What happened to Highlander? Good, good. Highlander's gone, Seven unfortunately, I think. I think he realized he said a bunch of dumb shit and he left like they always do. Come it's back tomorrow happens. and say the same shit over again. Yeah, he says, sorry, Cause... wife has called me. <laughs> Yeah, right. Just so, just just in case that one or two people that are here that are on the fence might hear him and believe his stupid shit without anybody pointing out how stupid it is. I give him the benefit of the, the doubt. You you get phone calls when you're on Discord. It happens. Not trying yeah, to. Yeah, that could have happened. Sure. Yeah. So so if it's a closed system, then no big deal, right? If it's a closed system, but if it's an open system. And you've got rotation going on and speed, then wouldn't this like nice blue marble whittle its way down? No, nearly nothing after a while. Wouldn't that just happen? Doesn't that just like occur? So, but also we don't lose pressure, right? This like idea of like oh, like a, a coke can is a is at once an open and closed system because it's leaking very very slowly. Where like like the pressure mediation on this blue ball is uh. 4.5 billion years or so, right? We still got the we still got pretty good amount of pressure. It's a good thing nobody cracks a can here, right? But what would well, what would cause a can to crack? Well, snacks, yeah. you know, it would whittle its way down to nothing if there was no friction. No, right? uh, you're oh, going wait, way no, too many either steps. Way. Either way. If matter is able to yeah. change so, and energy, then the pressure would change. The pressure is not changing means that that is not the case. Absolutely. I mean, when we when we were having a discussion with uh, somebody, I don't remember who it was the other day. Um, Might have been on a different server, actually, but maybe on here. I think it might have been Zanuck claiming that uh, you could you could spin something in a bucket, right? And then at your point of rotation, eventually at the outside of the bucket, it would meet the same rotational speed. And then they said, well, actually, no, because then there's friction. 
And this was an explanation as to why, for some reason, the atmosphere follows exactly with the Earth, allegedly, even though the Earth is spinning within me, outer space. But, but to me, the Earth There's, cannot itself be spinning. It's got to be some force moving it around because it actually can't be doing any motion itself because then it would violate its own shit and it would whittle away down to nothing. So it is the ultimate. Yep. It's the ultimate perpetual motion machine. Like yep. it has to guide it, spin it, tilt it, hurl it around. It's got to be doing all those funky, hokey pokey shits, or else we got physical repercussions, right? It's because there's there's no friction in regards to and there is friction, which is only the atmosphere here. So it's frictionless friction, um, and. and which and it would, right, and then the atmosphere itself, the higher elevation atmosphere flat is itself elastic, so it doesn't really exhibit um, friction like you would have, or you, you would even quantify as friction. Imagine being convinced that open, I mean closed, can be open as well sometimes. It's like, it's like the Earth would have contrails, don't you think? From the gas pressure escaping, but we'd be all dead, bro. It's a no contrails. Yeah. It's we'd a be all dead. There'd be no atmos here. It's a frictionless friction system that is closed right. and open. It's a, it's an open closed frictionless friction system. So Next then, Coriolis force, Coriolis, Coriolis force can only be internally the internal gyre of everything moving in and of itself so it can like kind of only exist in this one dimension to actually translate Turning on your reference because nothing's actually moving in their mind because it can't move it has to be just like spun around by the magical hand of gravity and and forever that's not a good position Aren't you glad like these anti flat earthers don't have like businesses where it's like we're cloping? Oh, what does that mean? It means you can come in the shop, but if you do, we'll trespass you. Close down, open. We're cloping for business, everybody. Even if you put like a pinhole in a can of soda, right? I mean, like, how long does that take? pressure to mediate so you're talking about ultimately close to a perfect vacuum in space and then totally not here this is a, a can of coke without a can can you dig it i can blow balloons up without the balloons i swear to god culture you gave what up is- on your thing you realized how stupid Highlander was talking and skipped out. I don't blame you. Unless you want to tell us how does uh, fueling a rocket and putting men in it, how does that change the clothes to open? He's just retying his tap shoes. Give him a second. <laughs> Why? So he can tap out? The crazy stuff they have to support, man. It's it's unbelievable. Dance. It's a shuffle off the buffalo. Here's some more. Think about in science when this first came up, right? Wait, guys, we got pressure, so we must be a closed system. No, wait. It's got to be open because we travel to these places and meteors and all that come in. But wait, it can't be opening. Well, we'll just say it is, right, a binary system. It's, it's open when we need it to be and closed when we need it to be. Think about when it first came up, these people trying to, you know, square the circle. Yep, good point. And According how to the text, sell it, yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead, bro. I was just going to say, Kosho is responding in text chat by saying that Earth is a system, according to him. No. So he's in agreement. 
No, no. I, I'm what I'm doing is posting several examples of oh, exactly what I'm stating. Yeah, you guys were talking to Highlander for a while. So I went ahead and posted like I don't know, five different links or five examples of uh exactly when the earth can be considered an open system or closed system. Right. Like it's completely well, contextual. All, all these all these all, all these um ideas of a system is completely contextual based on what yeah. your what's the it, uh the as you know, long as what, there's what a, the range of your of your analysis is. As long as there's a density gradient, right? Something uh, good can happen here. So you you need a density gradient to happen on a ball, and we're just saying it happens because it happens because shit's flat. So we considering it, you know what I'm saying? Considering it to be an open and closed system, and it actually being open and closed system in reality are way two different things. It's got so, the self sealing guys. Well, you just don't oh, understand yeah, superpositioning, right? So the Earth is like... Go ahead, John. Yeah, those terms, those terms open and closed system and uh, isolated system, it's for the purpose of sci you know, scientific... Uh, let's say you're doing a test or something and you're describing what's happening in the test. Uh, it, it's completely contextual such that if you change the length of the test or you increase the resolution of uh, what it is you're observing, you know, some some one thing that was an open system is now a closed system or vice versa. So it, you can't just say, you know, uh, generally this thing is a open or isolated or whatever system, because if if you were being general, then everything would always be an open system. There would never be any closed or isolated systems because given enough time, you know, matter is going to be exchanged some amount. So, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a closed system. group of y'all's doublespeak. The scientific double speak. Yeah. When you need gas pressure, it's got to be a closed system. And when you need matter to come in and out or energy, it has to be an open system. Classic yep. double speak. Energy. So is it's an egg an open system? Of... An egg? An egg would be in a, a closed system for the for the uh, context of, you know, describing describing it maybe for a couple of minutes or something, but if you describe it long enough, it's obviously not a closed system. An egg well, is I'm porous. talking about an, an intact egg, egg. Okay, so let me do a better example. How about a coconut? That's a good one. Egg? Is so that that's a closed system? system? No, coconut. Is a coconut an open, an open system? Depending on the context, it can be a, a closed system. What but of course, if you observe it long enough, if, if, if you observe, if you, yeah, so you, so then your time, so your time frame for the description is going to be an instant. It's not over any uh, length of time. In that case, it's going to be exactly. Closer. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so how is that analogous to the Earth? Yeah, because so right well, you, now, you describe, is you the Earth a closed system you, or not? Not over time. Like right now, this very instant. Is it open or closed? Okay, in, well, any, in, in any instance, closed. in any instance, in any instance, nothing is going to be exchanged. That's the problem. So it's closed. If, if you're, if you're, if it's isolated, basically. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Does it doesn't make sense any that it doesn't make sense anymore. No, we hear you. It depends on it depends on the precision of what what it is that your uh, your analysis is going over. It so if you're going over a coconut, it depends on the question yeah, you're asking at the time. But it's to start out from an accretion disk, form into a planet. It's an accretion disk. It's an open system. When it forms into a planet, it's an isolated closed system, kind of, sort of. No, then... it depends on the question you're asking. Okay. What question are you asking about the question right now that you're trying to determine whether it's open or closed? Are you asking whether in the next 10 minutes the atmosphere will blow away? Just maintenance, maintenance, maintenance of pressure, uh, uh, coherence of, of an atmosphere. around. Okay, over around, what time period? Like 4.5 billion years, say. Okay, then open. Yeah, then it's an open system. But that, do you see how that answer changes if you're only talking about um, the span of 10 seconds? Because in, in, in 10 seconds time span, almost no matter is being exchanged. And, uh, and obviously some energy is, but, uh, but still, it, it's the, it's, it very much depends on the context of what's being analyzed. In the next, in the next 10 seconds, does there um within your paradigm is there a possibility of a meteor entering the earth's atmosphere 
Is that part of your question, though? I mean, basically, the basic question that we're asking at the time that we started this, is that part of your question? Like, do you want to know whether meteors can come into the atmosphere? Then you just say it's open. If you're, go if you're asking whether the atmosphere will be here tomorrow, then the answer is closed. Then we don't have to calculate the openness of it. We don't need to worry about the fact that it's going to lose 190 tons or 100. Do you realize what you just said? You can't oh. have those. Oh. You cannot yeah, have the pressure. Let's have let's have Kosho define what a closed closed and open system is. Um, you want to do that like, again? I like Kosho? what. You want to do that well, again? Moyak so is echoing. Moyak. What is Moyak? What is Moyak is system? echoing what I'm. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Moyak is echoing what I'm saying, and I like the examples he gave. Uh, because as I was saying, is uh, you know, it's gonna depend. It's gonna determine what what system you know you're gonna be using or describing it as. So uh, what Moek was, you know, he he went further and gave you actual examples of, you know, questions you'd be asking, and in those different contexts, uh, the other information like the asteroid. If you're talking about the atmosphere over a long span of time, the asteroids coming into the atmosphere is a negligible amount of matter. So it's not going to be included, and so you're going to consider the Earth to be a closed system. So okay, how's uh, that analogous to a for sake of a short? I'm next, Larry. Hold on. For the same thing, no, for, for the same thing with a ask ask a question about a coconut, and uh, you know if you're doing a scientific uh, test or something to answer that question, it's going to that scientific test is going to be over the course of some length of time, and depending on that length of time, and depending on what you're observing, you know you may consider it to be closed or isolated or or uh, or open it just depends on it depends on you know the context of what's being described cool how do we know if a system is closed if it does if there's no uh exchange of matter but there's an exchange of energy if so if matter if matter exchanges then it's open that's right if matter and energy are, exchange, are freely exchanged then yes yeah yeah. And do we do we do we exchange and is, is there matter exchange with Earth? Is that pertinent to the question well, being also. asked? Yeah, it is very pertinent to the question because we're trying to figure out if it's an open or closed system. So now that we know what an open and closed system, this is very fucking pertinent. No, it's not really pertinent because it it's really because we, you, we wouldn't be asking that stupid question. Thanks. We would be asking the you question. Just, we would be asking a scientific question about a specific example. You cut and, him off. You know how we're going to run the calculation. That's when we're asking this question, not uh, no one generic. gives a shit you about your calculations. A if you want to go with just a generic answer, no one cares. Answer, you cut him off. No one cares you dude, that you can tear me shut off. Shut up, I will fucking nothing. kill you. <laughs> no one. What was that? No one. What was that? Repeat Very that. Question. What did you just say? Hang on. Repeat that. You sidebar, no. judge. You will kill me. Pussy. Oh, stop your whining. Oh, uh, Jeremy, Your I want that recorded. I want, all right, I'm going to leave. Right have a good I one. want that son of a bitch Jeremy, kicked out. Jeremy, have a good day with your friends. Jeremy, so, I want that recorded. I want that son of a bitch kicked out of here. Take care yeah, of it, Jeremy. Me, well, let me, I didn't hear it. Let me go back and he listen. He said he would kill me. I'm going to go back and listen right now. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I heard it too. I did too. Well, I think, I think oh, the fact that he left those shows guilt. That's three witnesses plus a guy. Yeah, international sign of guilt running. That's more than one person. was only going to kill you rhetorically, right? Yeah. One and less guy, just... this Discord is worth uh, a grain of salt. One less guy, double speaking asshole, we have to deal with. Right this there. This logic rhetoric was going to cut you down. That's not cutting me down. That's threatening no. my life. Yeah, that's, that's different. A lot different. He, he said he was. He said he was kidding. So. Oh really? Also, we're not allowed to call people assholes. Oh really? Yeah, we're, oh, we're, really? we're not allowed to call people assholes. Jango, turn it back on me. Call them names. Yeah, well, you say me. And no names. Yeah, you can. You can don that. Now you want to turn it on me and say that I called him an asshole, so that's somehow comparable. Don't I'm telling you. Oh, I was joking. Hey, Kosho, I was just joking. He's joking. I was just joking, bro. Yeah, so he's not threatening your life. He's joking, yeah. So you're full of shit, bro. So let, let, let him know. Well, I don't even make moment. jokes like that because that. there's is truth to all jokes. Everybody talk at once. Close them open. Hey, what? Yeah, if I can give just happened. a minute to, to talk about what just happened, right? We were talking about, you know, open and closed systems, right? And this guy interrupts, right? And we all heard it, right? 
is, is this right uh, going along with the conversation? Obviously, it was. We're talking about open and closed systems. And then it goes to, like, threatening your life. So I'm all about free speech. But there's time, place, and manner restrictions, right? You can't say, like, fire in a crowded theater, right? Because your speech will actually cause someone harm, injury, or loss, right? So how do you think it would be handled if someone were to threaten the government, right? It would be taken seriously, and then no matter how many times the criminal, right, the alleged criminal said, I was just joking, do you think the government would be like, oh, yeah, it was just a comedy routine, right? It was a bit. You thought right. they were talking about open or closed shoes. So, so me at, me asking that question was very pertinent, despite what Moyak thought, because now that we know what an open and closed system is, an exchange or not an exchange of matter, now we're trying to figure out if Earth is an open or closed system. Very pertinent to the question I asked. Very dishonest for I him agree to even I... go through that. Very dishonest to him to even go through that rigmarole about is that pertinent or not. Yeah, now that we have the definition... Let's see if what we have fits yeah. any of these definitions. I won't speak to his dishonesty, but I will tell you I agree that it's it's a, it's a fair question. Your question is fair, but um, now that I've granted you that, you need to grant me my question, bro. And you got to actually answer it this time. And that is, can you give me an example of a closed system? I don't. Not off the top of my head. I don't. I don't know if I can. Can I tell you? Can I tell you my assumption? What I uh, assume is the reason why you can't come up with one on top of your head is you understand that what I'm about to do is show you how that closed system can be an open system in certain contexts, and that's just the case. That's just the truth. Well, yeah, I mean, you have what, the, the parameters of what you're going to analyze. Is that what you're saying? The, our definitions of the systems aren't well defined enough. Is that what you're saying? No, no. It's, that, it's not that they're not well defined. The, the point of these systems is for scientific analysis or whatever. Let's say for what an about, experiment. Like, if they're uh, the same thing, then they're not more stern engine. These are closed systems. Steam engine. Yeah, before. Yeah, they're they're closed. They're closed. A uh, steam engine's not a closed system. Hey, okay, that's well, well, good. So there's a difference here. How huh? Sterling engine and a Crookes radiometer? They're closed. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Any of these things that you're saying are closed systems. Uh, you know, it, given enough precision of the amount of matter or given enough time, and you're going to see a matter exchange. And okay, if that well, was um, all, all the ultimate at, question, then you'd have to call it an open system. But the effect and is the not point, seen... and The point is that in the Earth, in the Earth, are you losing, what, three grams of a second of matter? So it's not like... Three kilograms. Three kilograms a second. So it's not like uh, you'd have to wait a long time. I don't know if there could even be a once... Uh, a split second opportunity where you can say, aha, and that half a split nanosecond, no matter what. Yeah, but if the amount is negligible for your analysis, you can consider it to be a closed system. Dude, this, your definition of open and closed systems didn't have anything about amounts of matter or how much the matter it was compared to how much matter the system had. It didn't, your definition didn't say none of that shit. Yeah. What's the and mechanism? Equals, equals some loss, equals transfer, yeah. right? Can we get into the mechanism that allows this? You know, mm -hmm. the the pressure to be held in, but matter and energy to be exchanged. And can we replicate that? Yeah, very easily. Uh, I mean, the, the, the closest <clears throat> the reason why the Earth can be considered a closed system is because we have no. things like the. The, no, no don't go into air another cycles and all this type of stuff. Oh, hold on, hold on, dude, hold on, because we have yeah, these air cycles on, and all this type heard, of stuff. So even though, hold, hold on, dude. The question was, on. can you replicate it? Hold, hold, hold on, because your question uh, ultimately was more than that, and so I'm giving you the answer to. What no, it wasn't. What I'm telling saying. you what my question so, is. Yeah, I know can you asked. You said more things than just that, though. No, I didn't. I said, can we so, replicate it? Regardless, uh, Very yeah. So the the so the air the air has cycles, and even though there's some air that's escaping, most of the air is kept in by the uh, uh, the, the its own weight, which is creating the pressure. It's not. Uh, it, it's uh, not. Uh, like it's there's a contradiction because it can't doesn't all freely um, sure. escape. There's plenty some of, of contradictions. Escape. Now we can go into that if you want because. Nothing that weighs anything that's being pulled down would ever escape in your system. 
but we can go into that later. But what I'm asking is, can we replicate that? Like in a scientific experiment, can we have a container, whatever it may be, whatever the mechanism may be, where matter and energy, like a rock and uh, heat or whatever, be exchanged through this container, whatever you want to create it out of, but hold gas pressure or atmospheric pressure. Can we yes. replicate that? Yes, absolutely. Oh, tanks show me of that. helium show or me hydrogen. That. Yeah, tank, tanks yeah. of he helium or hydrogen, very strong, uh, which contain the pressure of the he helium or hydrogen, still allow the helium and hydrogen to escape. Through and the water container bottles, or through a valve, through a leak? No, no, through, through the container itself, through the walls of the container. And water bottles how, that are containing you know the pressure of the water because this, this is this is known that they well, have no already, i'm asking you how you uh, know that i'm not asking you to tell me it's known you already told me it happened i don't need you to tell me it's known it, how do you it's know known, that's... it's a known it's a known problem with storing hydrogen that it's, it can seep through the walls that uh, they can't but, create anyways, a container uh, to hold it or that it leaks out of valves and it escapes out of I other mean, ways you can build a strong stronger stronger tank and all you're going to do is decrease maybe the amount of um, the amount of hydrogen that would be leaking, but there will always be some leakage. There will always be some over uh, over time. So it's the How same do you know way. It's leaking uh, water and not bottle. just dissipating in the container due to pressure and heat and all that. Uh, why like would it not turning into dissipate? something else inside the container? Because there's mass that's lost. So the weight goes down. Yeah, that's how you know. What if the, the exchange makes that that contained substance? You're saying it's helium? What'd you say it was? I'm sorry. Helium. This happens to helium, hydrogen. Uh -huh. uh, very uh, low, low uh, mass gases. So helium, as it, uh, if helium turns into something else under pressure and temperature, does it weigh less or more? Uh, well, I mean, it would weigh about the same, wouldn't it? Well, I'm asking you. I mean, it doesn't. This doesn't happen, so I don't know. I don't know what to get. But really, you, but it if something doesn't. Just changes it into something else. Yeah, like so water, put, for example. When they put stuff under pressure and it turns into a liquid, does it weigh more or less? It's the same. It weighs exactly the same. It doesn't change at all. Yes. So you're saying every well, time yeah, the weight right. changes inside weigh water the container, and, and it's I, because. Yeah, y'all can, can take it. I'm going to store. All right, so can you model this out, right, without using uh, hydrogen, right? Because if you have hydrogen in a container and it's leaking out, by definition, it's not a closed system. So can you model this open yes. slash closed system where matter doesn't go in and out, but at the same time matter goes in and out? That's essentially what you're saying, right? It can't be open and closed at the same time is my no, contention. It's, it's, it's not what anybody's sorry. saying. Sorry, just let me finish. Wait, yeah, that is what you're saying, right? You're saying the Earth is a closed system, but yet it gets hit by meteorites sometimes, right? Okay, so is that your argument? You guys, is that your you argument? Guys, I'm trying to clarify. Guys, yeah, uh, hold on. Yeah, I know, I know. And so this is the clearest way it could be said. Is in the way you guys are describing a closed system, open system, it's almost as if you're giving an identity. Like this, this is going to be an attribute of this system uh in all cases and so that's this is not the case these systems that's not what these systems are used for in science they're used to describe uh specific uh you know situations specific analysis so yes it's true that it's uh, any like a thermos in some circumstances a thermos can be an isolated system but in you know if you leave it alone long enough it's not an isolated system it's not even a closed system it's an open system if you leave it alone uh, long enough. All right, so I'm assuming you've been around for a while and you know what a clarification question is. Are you saying that you can have simultaneously a system that's both open and closed? Yeah, but when you say simultaneously, it's like you're saying like in some cases it's open, in some cases it's closed. And so you're not talking well, about the same thing. So simultaneously, that's not what the word means. simultaneously it's... Sim yeah, I know that. No, this is what I'm saying to you, that you're saying simultaneously and you're saying that as if uh, describing two different uh, 
context at the same time is somehow contradictory. But these are two totally different scenarios. So it's not okay. it's not that it's happening so this, simultaneously. This is binary. Either something is open or it's closed, right? I've been working fast food for a long time. So this concept is very similar. It's not the same, right? But either you go to a store and it's open or it's closed. It's not partially open, right? You can't have something that's partially open. So if we're talking about open and closed systems, right? Yeah, you could crack open an egg and make an omelet, and then it's open and closed at two different points of time, right? But at one time, like right now, this very second, the second that I spoke of a second ago, at that time, is the Earth a open or closed system? Because both is not an option. There is no C to this. It's a true dichotomy. No, yeah, it is a dichotomy. And so given your example, is the Earth an open or closed system? Since you're not giving any uh, parameters to, you know, what, what you're even, what, what's the ultimate answer that you're looking for? Or you gave uh, the definition of these that question. Yeah, oh, so you yeah know I know, it, but the, you, know, it, you know what an it's open dependent. And a yeah, system. I know. Hold, hold on, hold on, dude. Hold on. It's dependent yeah, on the again. scenario, on what's being on what's being investigated. Okay, so if you're if you're investigating nothing and you're just asking, is it open or closed system? Then ultimately, the only answer that I can give you is what it uh, what it is. You know, in all cases, and in all cases, it would have to be an open system, because what I would ask. you know even the most even even the most and that and then that's the same case for everything. Because given time, there's going to be some exchange of uh, matter, some exchange of energy, and uh, even if it's a tiny, tiny amount. And if you're not uh, being specific on what you're investigating, then that's the only answer you can give. Like because I said, that renders the whole that renders the whole the whole point of uh, having these different systems pointless. Because, okay. like I said, everything would be an open system. Okay, what I would ask is because we have the definitions of open and closed systems. So my question would be, does it exchange matter? I just answered that question by telling you, based on those definitions, if you don't, uh, if you, if you don't specify the nature of what you're investigating, then every single thing is going to be an open system. Okay, I'm seeing it for every, every single matter thing every matter. in one second, one second time frame. How's that? What do you need? What do you right. need? Bro? You want to know if the Earth. You want to know if the and you're talking about the high the um infinite if precision matter like exchange. infinite resolution. Yeah, infinite resolution. The answer is yes. Yeah, one, one, one second. second. How about a half a second? Is it is it is there a matter exchange? In that? Okay. Even a half a second. Yes. What about a quarter of a second? How low can we go? Uh, I mean, at least ten to the twenty three. You got a mole. Zeros. That's about a mole. Yeah. Yeah, but it's losing 23 kilo. Would you say three kilograms a second? Three kilograms a second. How many right. moles are in a kilogram? Come on, bro. This is ridiculous. You know it's open. How many moles of what? No, but you're at, you're, I'm answering the specific questions you're asking. And as I told you, every single thing that you can tell me a closed system, because everything you can think of is an open system if you uh, change the parameters such that you're looking at a long enough time span or a or a, a high enough precision. There's no such thing as a closed system, you're saying? No, it's not what I'm saying. God damn it, dude. Oh, you're saying all... No, okay, let me rephrase it. You're saying all systems will lose matter over time. Well, there'll be uh, an exchange of some amount of matter. Amount of matter, you matter exchange. Yeah. You can, and there's not one so system that, anywhere a, on Earth that, that's a closed system. They don't exist, basically. No, that's not, dude. Listen, dude. The question is malformed because that there's not a specified uh, context. You have to give my, my, that question context before you can answer is it an open or closed system. If you don't give it the context and you just ask, is this thing a close, as closed or open or isolated? That if there's no context, then in, in every um, example you can give, it's always going to end up being an open I, system. I thought the context is within the definition. Hold on, I thought, I thought the context was in within the definition. It says a closed system can't is fixed uh, matter and finite. 
what's the context and you what need? object time frame like what what's what context do you need oh, well the a time frame is good um a precision like i said a resolution is is good either of these two things maybe the nature of what it is you're investigating so i can determine what the time frame and the resolution will be things like that what, res what resolution the matter it has the matter it lost yeah like let's say like i said for the for the sake of uh, um like a glass of water and a glass of water you could ask um is there a exchange of matter energy there's obviously an exchange of energy but there's no noticeable exchange of matter but given enough time all that water is going to disappear because 